Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at the Bicycle Spirit deck from PlayingCards.net and the Gambler's Warehouse. Uh, this deck right here, this was part of a Kickstarter, successful Kickstarter program. Uh, with this uh, launch, with this project launch, there was two decks. Uh, there was a white gold special edition, and then there was a blue silver limited edition. Uh, I picked up the blue silver just because I, I like the look of it just a little better. It was just more my colorings. And so that is the deck review that we'll be looking at today. Uh, this uh, particular limited edition uh, was limited to only 2,500 decks. There was actually one more deck. They did a Spirit Black limited edition that was only a thousand print run, um, but I didn't pick that one up either. I only got this one. The front of the tuck case is all embossed with silver foil and it says Bicycle across the front and Spirit there at the bottom and then you have a nice big exploded uh, ace spade pip there. Uh, on this side it says Air Cushion Finish and Made in the USA. On this side it says Gambler's Warehouse and Dallas, Texas. The bottom has some ad copy about PlayingCards.net and the top says Spirit. And across the top, you're also going to notice that there's no tuck seal. Uh, I like that a lot. And then if you look on the inside, there is a printed uh, design as well. The two inside flaps are also uh, silver encrusted, and they are little tiny uh, spade pips. And then the back design, again, is silver foil embossed. And it's this very geometry-based shape, uh, hard-lined, edged design that is also the back design of the cards. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed by the United States Playing Card Company and they do come on their infamous thin, snappy retail stock. They do have air cushion finish and a modern cut. And if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish, you can click the link below in the description. Like I said, the back design is blue and silver. And as you can see, uh, it's a lot of hard edges, a lot of geometry based shapes. You got circles and squares uh, kind of forming a, a lot of uh, inner and outer connecting frames. It does have a very classic look to it. You will also notice it is a blue bordered back design, uh, but the faces of these cards are white. You can probably also see that the back design is uh, also done in metallic inks. Uh, you're going to have metallic inks uh, throughout, both on the tuck case and on the cards themselves. With this deck, you're going to get a couple of things, the first of which is you'll get a double backer, which is always great for magic tricks. And you're also going to get a second gaff, uh, which is indicative to a lot of other Gambler's Warehouse gaffs. They're very similar to this. Uh, it's a queen of hearts on one side and a king of hearts on the other. This deck has a very regal, very ornamental, very kingly court type feel theme to it. Uh, and the jokers are no exception. Uh, you can see that it's a ball with two kind of uh, keys or like kingly staffs crisscrossed and a crown on top. You can see that one joker has the blue coloring and the other one is more of a silver pearl gray color. The ace of spades is very simple. It's just the, the large spade pip there with the two crisscrossing keys and uh, no text on it at all. Very elegant, very clean. Uh, you can also see that there is a unique font up there in the corner as well as redesigned pips. And then you can also see that there's this um, shadow watermarked border uh, that goes around the outside which frames all the cards which is very beautiful. That said, all the pip and indice cards are completely custom. Each one has a unique layout and uh, beautifully designed pips. So you probably saw this earlier with the gaff card, but all the court cards are forward facing. So you don't have any one-eyed jacks or anything like that. Um, and all the cards are done in that same kind of blue silver coloring that you see throughout the deck. So it keeps the theme uh, clean and pure. That is it for the Spirit Playing Cards deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash metric orthodoxy, twitter.com slash metric orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks.